What's going on YouTube? This is ParkerLight88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to be doing a character breakdown for Rita. Similar to my other character breakdowns, we're going to be running through the move list, doing some combos, and then I'm going to talk about a game plan for Rita. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we go on with today's character breakdown, if you guys like what you see here, please consider following me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ParkerLad88. You can follow me on Twitter at ParkerLad2. You can check out my Discord, the Woosh Clan. If you have Discord, just go ahead and look that up. And if you want to do just a little bit more to support me, please consider checking out my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ParkerLad88. Any bit that you invest in me will go back in you guys to help create awesome content. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with Rita's character breakdown, beginning with mobility. So at base value, I would say that Rita's mobility is actually not very impressive. I would say she's probably of the slower moving characters of the cast, comparable to Zed. Unlike Zed, she can actually cancel buttons out of her dash, so that is actually a good thing. But when I try to do like her attack dash, for instance, you can see she's not very fast when she does do it. And her wave dash is even worse. She might as well not even be able to wave dash. I think it's hilarious that she actually can. But her dash actually has some startup on it. So trying to wave dash with Rita is also not very effective um, as well. Rita actually does have some pretty good jumps, though. Her jump is a little bit floaty, but she doesn't stay in the air too long. And her dash jump is actually really good. She actually covers a lot of distance and can actually get some full screen jumpings in combination with her good uh, aerial button leading into full combos, as you can see right here. But there is one aspect of Rita's mobility that's actually very interesting that we need to talk about, and that is her float. So if you are in the air, if you hold the up button, or if you just tap the up button, Rita will go into this floating animation. As long as you hold it, she will slow her descent into the ground. And you can actually do this a number of ways, as you can see here. This can make her a very tricky character to deal with. Off of a super jump, I can actually do this about four times, as you can see right there. And this can actually make her some pretty ambiguous situations when she's approaching you with her air normals. And the fact that she does have this float means that she can just go off the ground like this and harass you with like instant overhead buttons, which can be pretty annoying to deal with. Moving into normal based attacks, we have standing light, crouching light, standing medium, crouching medium, standing heavy, and then we have crouching heavy for the launcher. Now, a couple of tidbits about her grounded normals. First of all, we have crouching medium. Crouching medium on hit causes this mini reverse launcher with strict timing. You can combo this into crouching light. I don't use this too much in her combo structure, but it's just a note. Um, standing heavy. When you hit somebody with this move, just base value, you can see it causes a ground bounce. Similar to Jason, if you do this very on in, early on in combo structure, you can actually get two. Moving into aerial buttons, we have air light. Pretty good for your tick grab setups. We have air medium. This move is very active, as you guys can see right here. And it actually does hit twice. I can't get to hit twice all the time, but as you can see, full screen jump-ins with this move, like very early on, this move can definitely help you with uh, controlling space. It's probably my favorite button Rita has. And then we have Air Heavy. This is a good jump-in. This is a good cross-up. It's, it's a good button. And those are going to be her aerial buttons. Now, when it comes to buttons you're going to be using the most with Rita, it's really much going to be her aerial buttons, but my far and away favorite button is going to be her air medium. It comes out quick, covers decent range, and it is so active as I have demonstrated time and again. Air Heavy is going to be a good jump in and is your go-to cross-up as well, and in combination with her ability to float, can set up for some pretty ambiguous situations. Grounded buttons, grounded buttons for Rita, you're not really going to be using her grounded buttons a whole lot in order to control space. As you, as you can see, the range on them isn't exactly, like, amazing. You're not going to be really fishing with standing heavy that much. Um, so pretty much you're going to be wanting to stick to your aerial buttons with Rita. That's kind of what she likes to do. Alright, let's move into throw. She does get combos off of forward throw, and she also gets combos off of back throw. Now, in a full screen situation where you're not near the corner, you can get EX or Super or EX Super. Um, she can really only combo off a back throw when she's in the corner. As you guys can see right there. We have EX. And of course, we have Super. 
Now, Rita Super is a full screen super. This is perfect for reacting to people trying to zone you out or who have a lot of startup on their moves. You kind of have to respect Rita a little bit when she does have those two meters because that super does a ton of damage and can lead to dead characters if you are not paying attention. Moving into Rita's special moves, we're going to start with neutral special, and that is going to be Pinwheel Chaos, or as I affectionately call it, the Reality Stone! So if you press neutral special, you'll see she'll fire this projectile at a set distance, and then the projectile will slowly approach her. You can extend how long this stays on the screen by moving away from it. And you can decrease the amount of time it stays on the screen by approaching it. I don't know why you'd want to keep it on the screen for less time, but it's just something to note. One thing that also makes this projectile unique is that Rita can actually fire it in a number of directions depending on which um, direction you press after you press neutral special. So if you just press neutral special, she'll fire it at a set distance, about here. If you press back after you press special, she'll fire it close to herself. If you press up, she'll fire it into the sky, and if you press um, forward afterwards, then she'll do like a long-range version of it. This is very like Nether Realm esque This this projectile is very good for uh, combos. It's very good for setups, and it actually has a decent amount of projectile durability. If I can actually get Eric to help me out here. One sec. And as you can see, it's still on the screen. Pretty cool, right? Let's talk about Rita's next special move, and that is going to be Forward Special. So if you do Forward Special, you will summon the putties. If you just tap the special button, you'll get the Putty Punch. And if you hold the special button after pressing Forward, then you will get the Putty Crusher. Let's talk about Putty Punch for a quick second. I like Putty Punch because it has decent range for a projectile, and it's really because Rita recovers so fast from it. That means that she is good about keeping herself safe, and the fact that you can actually rapid fire these you can mix these up with your other projectiles, means that this is pretty good. Now, the one downside to the Putty Punch is that the Putty Punch is actually pretty flimsy. As you can see, just doing the Putty Punch, will just they'll just fall to just straight bullets. As you can see, one bullet will knock both of them down. So the Putty Punch isn't particularly durable, but it is pretty safe. So it's one of my go-to projectiles to help get Rita started um, in the neutral. Let's talk about Putty Crusher. Putty Crusher has a much slower startup, but the trade-off is that it's much more durable. You get multiple hits into a ground bounce, which you can use to go for combos. It's actually one of the main things you'll convert combos from. And it's actually pretty projectile durable as well. As you can see, it can go through something as strong as uh, Eric's Gun Blast. And that pretty much surrounds everything regarding the putties. Let's move into Rita's next special move, and that's going to be Back Special. So if you press Back Special, Rita will do the Chaos Spark. She will retreat backwards, and she'll leave this kind of spatial tear on the screen. Now, I like this move for a number of reasons. The first reason being that it actually has a follow-up. So if you press Special afterwards, she will get a move which I will henceforth call the Thunder Pillar. And similar to the Reality Stone, you can actually choose where this goes. If you press just regular old special after doing the Chaos Bark, it'll go about the middle of the screen. If you press Back Special again, she'll do it close to her. And if you press um, Forward Special afterwards, then it'll go long range, as you can see. It doesn't go full screen, but you can still hit somebody from there, which is actually pretty cool. Let's talk about why I actually do like Chaos Spark. The first thing is that the combination of these moves are actually pretty good at absorbing projectiles. Pretty cool stuff. The other thing I actually like about the Chaos Spark in combination with the Thunder Pillar is that it's actually really good at dealing with jump ins. You can actually use it to get full combo afterwards. A little bit closer here. as you can see right there. It's actually very active as well. As you can see, I did it roughly at the beginning of the jump and it still stayed on the screen. So it's pretty cool that way. Rita's last special move that we're going to talk about is going to be her air special. So if you press special while Rita is in the sky, similar to Tommy, she will do this dive bomb maneuver. This move is actually very interesting because not only is it one of Rita's OTGs, but in combination with her float, you can kind of like harass your opponent with this. 
it actually does take some getting used to. The other thing is on hit or on block, depending on which direction you hold, that will dictate which way Rita bounces after you hit them with the dive bomb. So if you hold forward, you'll do a little hop forward. This is actually pretty good for like cross-up opportunities, as you can see right there. You can go back to retreat, or you just can't press any, or you won't press anything, and she'll just go straight up. So make sure you're using this in combination with your float in order to really harass your opponents. And that was All right, let's talk about Rita's assist. Sweet so Rita's assist is going to be the Thunder Pillar. This is actually a fantastic assist for a number of reasons. As you can see, the lockdown pressure on it is great. The combo ability is great, and it also tracks to the opponent. I'd probably say it's actually very similar to Scorpina's assist. I kind of like um, Rita's assist a little bit better just because it does give you that extra time to get confirms and also just has greater lockdown pressure. So Rita has a very good assist to work with. All right, now that we're done going through all of that stuff, let's go ahead and start moving into combos. And we're gonna start with our auto combos. First, we have auto combo number one with light. We have auto combo number two with mediums. And auto combo number three with heavies. So why don't we start off with some easy combos first. Per normal, what I'll be doing now is I'll start off with the completed combo with number notation at the bottom for those of you who are more experienced at the game and kind of just want to see what it looks like and what the inputs are. And then after I do it, I will move into the combo breakdown. So let's go ahead and get started with our first easy combo. All right, let's start breaking down this combo. So first, you'll want to do any jumping. We did air heavy. You'll then go standing medium into standing heavy. Now, the only part of this combo you really need to practice is getting the crouching light after the standing heavy. As you can see, you have a lot of leniency for this. Afterwards, you'll do crouching light, standing medium, and then you'll do heavy auto combo. From there, you'll go into EX, and then as they are falling, on the way down, that is when you will activate super. If you do it too soon, then the super will completely whiff. And that's pretty much what it looks like. So if you've done anything correctly, you should have something that kind of looks like this. And that'll do it for this easy combo. Let's move on to our next combo. Now, when it comes to comboing with Rita, there are a couple of things we have to know how to combo from. We have to know how to combo from forward throw. We have to know how to combo from back throw. We have to know how to combo from putty crusher. And we actually have a couple of corner combos that we need to practice as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our first combo. So the first thing that we'll do for this combo is our jump in, but one thing you'll be doing with Rita a lot is doing this instant air overhead type stuff. That means you have to get used to her float. As soon as, as you leave the ground, you can tap up again and she'll do it really close to the ground. So you'll want to make sure you'll get used to throwing out buttons afterwards. So if you need to, just practice doing this until it feels comfortable, right? And that was our first thing we did. So that's our first jump in. We'll then do medium heavy. We'll then get the crouching light afterwards, and then we'll do medium auto combo. Now, we can cancel the first hit of the second part of medium auto combo, and it'll lead into a stagger state. We'll cancel that into just regular old neutral special reality stone. It'll put them in a stagger state, and then the reality stone will carry them back to us for the rest of the combo. Now, after the reality stone is carrying them back to us, then we'll do up up heavy again, and we'll do that twice. We'll then go into light auto combo. So let's do that part first. Okay. 
So that's the first part of our combo. Now, after we do that, we want to make sure that we are close to the opponent. We'll do Crouching Medium into Back Special and Back Special again for the Close Chaos Bar. Then after that, we'll do Crouching Medium into Launcher. So this part should look like this. After that, we'll jump up and we'll do our staircase combo, staggered air light medium. And we'll do that twice. Now after that, we'll be able to take a small step forward and then we'll do medium into another launcher. We'll cancel that launcher into forward special for the putty crusher. So let's go ahead and practice that part. Now, the next important thing about this combo is after the wall bounce, you want to be about up here, right, before you do your dive bomb for the OTG. After you do your dive bomb for the OTG, you will hold forward and then you'll do air light medium. So you'll get... Actually, let me see if I can demonstrate this from Putty Crusher. Just like that. Then you'll get medium heavy for your second ground bounce, because we talked about how she can do that the same way Jason can. And then from there, we'll do medium, crouching medium, into back special, into the neutral follow-up. Just like that. And then from there, we'll wait for them to fall. So we'll wait for them to start falling. And then we'll go into super. So from Putty Crusher, you should have something that kind of looks like this. Well, let me do this. From Putty Crusher, you should have something that kind of looks like this. So once again, let's talk about things to practice. The first thing you'll want to get used to is the instant air overhead kicks, right? Because those are going to be a large part of your jump-ins and a large part of your combo structure from doing the Reality Stone, as you can see. So first part of the combo, once again. And then we'll do that into our light auto combo. The next thing you'll want to practice is doing the Crouching Medium into the Chaos Spark into a, another Crouching Medium Launcher. This timing can be a little bit tricky. Then we have our Staircase Combo. And then of course the next thing we'll practice after that is our Dive Bomb making sure you're holding forward afterwards so you can go for the light medium. You'll land, do medium heavy, and then the last thing you'll practice is doing medium, crouching medium, back special into the neutral special follow-up. And then as they are falling, that's when you will do super. If you've done everything correctly, you should have something that kind of looks like this. All that damage just for two bars. Let's move on to our next combo. So the next combo I'm going to be showing you is what to do off of forward throw. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So as you guys can see, this combo is actually very similar to the last combo that we just did. The only difference is we're not doing the first couple of hits. 
Other than that, the combo is exactly the same. We just start as if we connect the medium auto combo. And then we just go straight into the rest of the combo from um, the reality stone. The only real difficult part that you actually have to practice from this is really just doing forward throw into the medium afterwards. You can't mash this out. It's a timing thing you kind of just have to get used to. I actually find that I actually miss it sometimes. But that's really the only thing that's different about this combo that you have to practice. And if you can get this part in addition to the rest of the combo from before that we just practiced, then you should be able to do this combo. If you need to reference the steps again, then just go back and refer to my last combo after I did the medium auto combo and all the steps are exactly the same. So if you've done everything correctly, you should have something that kind of looks like this. And that's what you guys should get. Let's go ahead and move into our next combo. We're going to talk about how to combo in the corner. So just like the very first combo we did, we're going to practice our up-up heavies, our instant overhead heavies. Right? But we can just lead with a jump in heavy, or we can even lead with a jump in medium. From there, we'll go into our standing medium, standing heavy. Then we'll do crouching light into medium auto combo. We will cancel the first hit, or sorry, the, yeah, the first hit of the second part of the medium auto combo into the reality stone. But you'll notice when we throw the reality stone in the corner as opposed to when we're not in the corner, it doesn't hit them right away. So we have to do something else in order to plug that gap until the Reality Stone can actually come back. So that means we can't do our double um, up up heavies. Instead, we'll do standing light, crouching light, standing medium. When she recovers from the standing medium, we'll do one up up heavy into light auto combo. So this will be the first thing that you'll want to practice. After you do that medium auto combo Reality Stone, just getting used to standing light, crouching light, standing medium, up up heavy into the light item combo. But it should look like this. So kind of like that. And then after we do the light auto combo, or yeah, after we do the light auto combo, it kind of works like the last couple of combos we did, where we'll do medium into close chaos spark. Then we'll do crouching medium, crouching heavy into our staircase combo. Then we'll do medium heavy again, or medium launcher. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky, and this is the next thing you'll want to practice, and it's the double putty punch. Now, in order to actually get the double putty punch to work on the opponent while they're in the corner, you literally just wait for Rita to recover. Wait till you see her recover to her neutral state, and then do another uh, tap of the forward special for the putty punch. You do not want to do this as fast as you can, because if you do it as fast as you can, the second putty will whiff. Just wait for that recovery. After, after the second putty hits them, you'll actually be able to take a step forward, because you'll want to hit them with another close chaos bar. And then, just like the end of the last two combos we did, we will then do medium heavy into medium Crouching medium into the medium chaos spark, so we'll do back special into just neutral special option, right? So we'll get this number. And then we'll go into super from there. So if you have done everything correctly, you should have something that looks like this. And that's what you should get. 
Now, let's move into our next combo, and that is how to combo off of back throw. So in order to combo off of back throw, naturally of course we'll do back throw. From there we will do Rita's OTG, which is just her dive, so just really close to the ground. As soon as you hit up, you will do the dive and make sure you are holding forward so you can get the air light medium afterwards. From there we will do medium, heavy. From there we'll be able to actually connect with just a standing medium, and we'll do the medium auto combo, canceling the second hit into the reality stone. Then just like the last corner combo, we'll do our standing light, crouching light, standing medium. By that time the orb will hit them, then we'll do up up heavy into light auto combo. So the first part you'll want to practice after getting that OTG is just that air light medium into the standing medium, right? Yeah, that's the first part you'll want to practice. And then of course, just like the last corner combo, doing the reality stone into standing light, crouching light, standing medium, waiting for her to recover, and then doing up, up, heavy into light auto combo. So that will be the first part we want to practice. After that, it's just like, you know, the other combos. And it's very similar to the last corner combo we did uh, for the double putties, right? So we'll do our crouching medium into close chaos spark, into crouching medium, crouching heavy, into our staircase combo. From there, we'll do medium into heavy into double putty punch, right into the double putty punch like we practiced before. But unlike the rest of the combos, because we kind of already did everything in the beginning, right after the double putty punch, into the close chaos park once again. And just as a refresher, make sure that you're actually taking that step forward to be about right here whenever you hit them with the close chaos park. And then from there, all you have to do is go into super. So, once again, if you've practiced all the other things from the last combos, you should be able to do this combo. The only part that's any different is the fact that you're doing back throw into the OTG. As you guys can see. So, if you have done everything correctly, you should have something that kind of looks like this. And that's what you should get. Let's move into our next combo. We'll talk about comboing off of Putty Crusher. Now this combo is going to be a little subjective to where you are on the screen, but as long as you're about like three-fourths the screen or like full screen, this combo should work out this way. If you hit somebody with Putty Crusher when you're mid-screen or when you're approaching the corner by time you get to your second launcher, then you'll just do the double putty punch um, combo. But keeping this in mind, from here of course you'll start with your Putty Crusher. We will OTG with the dive going into our air light, air medium after holding forward. We'll land and do medium heavy. From there, we'll do medium auto combo since they're kind of already in a juggled state at this particular point. So we'll be able to connect with the medium auto combo canceled into reality stone. We'll do our double up up heavies as you saw there into light auto combo. And then just like the other ones, we'll do crouching medium close chaos spark into our crouching medium, crouching heavy, staircase combo, 
forward, medium into the crouching heavy for the second launcher. When you hit them with the second putty crusher, as you saw there, because we already used up our ground bounce, it'll cause a hard knockdown. So after that, we'll just go into EX and then into super. So the only part we're really practicing for this is just kind of what we actually practiced off of the back throw combo. So just getting the OTG. And if you've been able to do the other combos, then you should be able to do this part as well. So once again, if you've done everything correctly, then you should be able to get something that kind of looks like this. All right, let's move into the final combo that I want to show you guys today, and that is going to be what you do if Rita herself is in the corner. So yep, you guys saw that combo right. Rita can actually loop her standing medium, crouching medium into close chaos spark in the corner up to seven times before she finishes off her combo, which leads to stupid damage when she is in the corner. The reason why this works out this way is because when Rita normally does her chaos spark, she normally retreats, right? But when she's in the corner, she has nowhere to retreat to. And her crouching medium pulls the opponent towards her so because of those combination of things, Rita can actually loop this up to seven times before she chooses to do something else. And literally all this combo is, is standing medium, crouching medium, into close chaos bar. When she recovers, you'll do standing medium, crouching medium, into close chaos bark again, and you'll literally do this seven times. And then after that seven time you do it, you will do medium auto combo canceled into reality stone, You'll do our double up up heavy, and then you'll do crouching light, crouching medium, standing medium into heavy auto combo, canceled into EX, and then you'll cancel that into super. So if you've done everything correctly, you should have something that kind of looks like this. And that's what you guys should get. That does it for all the combos I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. Let's go ahead and move into Rita's game plan. And if you haven't figured it out by now, Rita isn't exactly the most straightforward or easy to play character. She kind of has, has tools for a bunch of different situations, right? She has like the Chaos Spark, which lends itself to being a pretty good zoning tool. She has the Reality Stone, which is a fantastic setup tool. And then of course, she has her putties. All these tools would lead you to think that she'd be a pretty good zoner. And, you know, she actually is a pretty good zoner. She has pretty good setup tools, but then she also has the rushdown elements as well, being able to abuse her float in order to set up for these ambiguous uh, cross-up situations and these instant air overheads. But you notice that some things aren't, you know, so easy to get started with Rita. So you're kind of like, what do I do? How do I really get started with Rita? Because you'll notice the Reality Stone doesn't go full screen, neither does the far version of the Chaos Spark, and the one really good projectile in her Putty Crusher has a lot of startup to it. And then, of course, with her instant air overheads, 
you notice that Rita on the ground is a slower moving character, so she can't really get in there and just kind of abuse these instant air overheads outside of doing her, something like her dive bomb, which can be really risky if you don't have any coverage, right? So where do you get started with Rita? I think that Rita fits best as a support character on any team, but especially on teams that can set up for sandwich opportunities so she can really abuse her instant air overheads. Naturally, with competent zoners like Corsandra or others, Rhea is going to be, be a fantastic assist because you see the lockdown pressure, you see how long it keeps them stunned so you can go for combos, and the fact that it tracks. That's going to be good for anybody, right? But I also want to take it a step further and say that Poissandra is a fantastic partner for Rita. The more I play Poissandra and Rita together, the more I feel like they kind of fit that best friends forever category of characters who you always want to play together. Let's go ahead and talk about why. Uh, one of the main reasons why Poissandra and Rita work so well together is because they just, they just complement their, their weaknesses and kind of what they want to do. Rita isn't a particularly fast character that can get in there and take advantage of her instant air overheads, but Poissandra, because of how fast she is, she is actually able to do this. And the fact that her medium auto combo sets up for very easy sandwich opportunities really lets Rita have an opportunity to use those instant air overheads. As you can see right there, that's kind of what will allow you to get in with Rita and to take advantage of those things. And then, of course, the other reason being that for Poissandra, Poissandra, she can't really combo off of her EX, but because of the way Rita's assist works, it really lets her get in there from full screen, no less, and get combo conversions. Now, one thing I actually didn't mention during the last combo that I showed you is how you can actually set up for um, Rita's combo where she is in the corner, right? And Poissandra can actually help out with that. When you do a medium auto combo with um, Poissandra, and you see that um, Poissandra can help set up Rita for that. So I think Poissandra and Rita are fantastic together. One other thing I also do want to mention as far as like how to set up this combo is you can also do it off a of snapback. And then you can also set it up off of her dive bomb maneuver as well. So just a little tidbit for you. But yeah, I definitely think if you take advantage of pairing Rita with a mobile character who has a way to actually get her in and take advantage of those instant air opportunities, or pairing her with a zoner to help get her zoning started, then I really think you'll be doing a fantastic job with Rita. And that'll do it for this character break breakdown featuring Rita. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Once again, if you guys enjoyed the content that you see here today, please consider checking out my social media links, which are in the description box, and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, and I will see you guys next time.